Tom Nappy here with head coach of Ashland Legion Post 77, Derek Johnson. Coach, beautiful day at Fino Field for the state tournament today. How does it feel to be here? Uh, this is awesome. You know, it's a little nerve wracking. It's a lot of paperwork in the beginning. You know, making sure the kids get where they got to go and everything. Um, you know, we practiced at the field over there and went up the street to do BP. So now that we're here, kind of settle down, calm the nerves, and get ready to play some baseball. And a great win on Wednesday, Sean Babineau pitching another gem. Uh, can you talk about his performance against Andover and the excitement of the team after they were able to take home that mixed uh, district qualifier to get here? Oh, that was huge. You know, we take it one game at a time, and then, you know, we didn't, you know, we win there, we come here, otherwise we got to play the next day. But it was big for us to get that win, so we had a couple days off till we come here today. Um, now we just start over, you know. No mistakes, hopefully today, get out of here with a win, and come back tomorrow. Coach, uh, Tom Onsey pitching today, uh, how's he doing? Have you talked to him uh, at all? No, just let him go. You know, uh, I haven't. I just let him know he's pitching. He knew that for a while coming in. Um, it's just gonna be tough. We're gonna have to, you know, nine innings and this pitch limit. It's a little different than what we're used to. So, you know, we'll have to keep him and make sure we can uh, use him again this week, hopefully. And lastly, Coach, I know you were a bit surprised to make it to this point, but obviously uh, this team has really come together. What's it been like coaching this group? Oh, it's fun. They're awesome. They all get along. They get along very well. They all come together and have a lot of fun. So, you know, hopefully they can keep it up, and it's worked for us this far. You know, coming off, you know, 9-11-1 my first year, 4-11-1 last year. You know, I didn't think we were going to be here, but we're here. And, you know, just some people in the – you know, I don't think we'd be here or don't want us here, but we're here, so let's go. Well, Coach, uh, we hope it's a long week for you here. Best of luck today. Thank you. Hopefully we'll be here all week. Ashland Legion took on Somerset in game one of the state tournament at Fino Field in Milford, and right at the top of the first, the bats got going. Runners leading once again. Solomon glares over at third base and deals a breaking pitch. Hit up the middle. That'll get by the shortstop. Obit around to score. And just behind him is Hornung. And it is 2 0 post 77. A two RBI single for the cleanup man, Ben Thomas. That ball had eyes right up the middle. All runners leading off. Bases juiced for Ashland. This is hit in the air over to left field. Battling the sun and making the catch. For the out is Meehan, but a run will score for post 77. Ben Thomas comes around on the sacrifice flyout. It is 3-0 Ashland. And he will tattoo this ball into left field. That'll drop in, and that is a fair ball. And a runner is going to come around to score, and that is going to be an RBI base hit for Jewett, who ends up at second base, an RBI double for the catcher. 4-0, post-77. Rossi moves up to third. Pesson is in for the run. Both runners leading on second and third. That ball is going to get by the catcher. Runner from third is going to come around for the fifth, post-77 run. Lewis Rossi scores on the wild pitch. This is hit in the air, deep to center field, and that is going to be taken by the win. That will drop in for a hit. One run is in to score. Second run going to try to score. Here comes Seymour, and he will score as well. It is a two RBI base hit for Jake Obed, and it is 7-0 Ashland Post 77. Seven runs in the top of the first. Ashland added more in the top of the second. From the stretch, it's Rossi looking for a second base hit. And we'll put this in fair territory. That'll get by the shortstop. And another post-77 run is in to score. Hit or error, Larry? Base hit in the hole. I agree. Too tough for Martinez to get that one. HKM Weather Center reading at 83 degrees. And partly cloudy, no chance of rain, which is what I like to see. Down the third base side, that gets through. That's a fair ball. Another post-77 run is in to score. And Rossi rounded second, but went back to the bag. Certainly made the right judgment call there, but it is an RBI base hit for Onsi. Somerset got one back in the bottom of the second, but Ashland held a 10-1 lead until the fifth when post-77 added a couple more runs. Wind up and the pitch. Up the third base side. That'll get through. That is a fair ball. 
coming around to score another run is Brad Seymour. And it is an 11 to one ball game. An RBI hit for Horning who ends up at second base, so bid to third. Thomas two for three today. Two RBIs, a pair of single, and also two stolen bases. And this is a fair ball right side and a tough play to make, but he will. It is going to be a sacrifice RBI, however, for Ben Thomas. As Obit comes around to score the 12th post-77 run of the afternoon. Jackson Horning over to third. Top of the sixth, Obit brings another one in. Like left hand the pitch. Up the third base side, off the glove of Baraby. And that is going to allow another post-77 run to score. And then why not some extra insurance in the top of the seventh? And we'll hit this one in the air to left field. That'll drop down. That's a fair ball. Pesson going to round first base. His helmet falls off as he heads the second. And it is a stand-up double for Zach Pesson. Wind up and the pitch. Up the right side. It'll get through the gap. One run is in to score. And that is all that will score as Thomas comes around, but they will take it. An RBI single for Lewis Rossi. Three from the stretch. Deals. Outside, it gets away from the catcher. Pesson going to try to score the throw over. Gets away from Dupree, and Pesson will score the 15th Ashland post-77 run of the afternoon. One and two. Hit in the air over to left center. That's going to drop down for a base hit. Here comes another post-77 run. The throw in is not in time. And Lewis Rossi comes around for the third Ashland run of the inning. And it is now a 16-2 lead. An RBI single for Sean Jewett. Three more runs in the top of the seventh. Ashland takes the mercy ruled victory after seven innings in the state tournament. It's nine inning baseball, unless up by 10 or more after seven innings. Some of the biggest contributors at the plate for Ashland included Jake Obed, who went two for four with a walk, scored a pair of runs and drove in a pair. Jackson Horning went three for five with a run scored and RBI. Ben Thomas went two for four with a sacrifice RBI, scored three runs, and racked up three RBIs overall. Zach Pesson went two for three with a walk, stolen base, and three runs scored. Lewis Rossi was three for four with a walk, two RBIs, and three runs scored. Sean Jouette contributed going two for five at the plate, driving into and scoring one. Brad Seymour also had a good day as he went one for three with two walks and a pair of runs scored. 16 runs, 14 hits, one error for Ashland. Post 77 scores 16 or more runs for the third time this season and will play the winner of the Milford Newton game at Fino Field Sunday night with a scheduled 7.30 p.m. first pitch.